Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. Coming up on 518 on this Thursday morning, some cool temperatures as you head out the door this morning. 38 for Augusta Regional, 37 right now at downtown Augusta. Both stations reporting a light breeze and that is creating wind chills. It feels a little bit more like freezing as you head out this morning. So grab a jacket, lots of sunshine in the day ahead. 51 degrees by noon by 5 p.m. You're going to start to see a few more passing clouds across our skies and then clouds will actually start to increase as we go after sunset by 8 p.m. Partly cloudy. 51 degrees, a light west breeze. Here's a look at the metro temperatures. It's 36 right now for Beach Island. Daniel Field again at 37, 39 there for you folks waking up in Evans and 33 this morning in Edgefield. But there are some even colder spots on the map, especially as you get into some of the outlying communities here. 29, there's your cold spot for McCormick right at 32 for Saluda and 39 degrees in Millen. So cold the story. We do have ongoing freeze warnings in this light blue from Wilkes County all the way down to uh, Emanuel County. That's in effect until 10 a.m. And now a, flood, a freeze watch has been issued for Allendale, Hampton, Screven, and also for Jenkins County. That goes into effect later on tonight and will go into effect, uh, continue through early tomorrow morning. So bundle up and cover up any kind of sensitive plants. But we do have very dry weather all over Georgia and South Carolina. A lot of cold temperatures, a lot of upper 20s, low to mid 30s to be found. Big area of high pressure. There it is, and it's controlling the entire weather pattern across the eastern half of the country. Very dry here. A new clipper system rolling into the northern plains, bringing them some snow showers. Really, that's the only active weather spot on the map. But notice the entire eastern half of the country very cold right now, 20s and 30s. We have a big dip in the jet stream, a big trough, but watch what happens here. This pattern is going to change. That trough moves out, a ridge builds in from the west, and what that's going to do is finally spread some very uh, spring-like air into the southeast. Get ready for a big time warm up here as we roll into the end of the week and for your upcoming weekend as well. In fact, temperatures will likely go above normal by Saturday and Sunday. Dry weather here as we roll through the forecast model. We're going to keep it mostly sunny today. A weak disturbance slides through. Just going to give us some clouds tonight. I don't think we're going to see uh, much in the way of rainfall here, but certainly that warming trend is going to get underway on Friday and continue riding into your upcoming St. Patrick's Day weekend. So the forecast for today, mostly sunny, a cooler day, 58 degrees <coughs> overnight tonight, increasing cloudiness, but again, we stay dry, 32 degrees. You'll need the jackets tomorrow morning, 70. There's your warm up and we only get warmer here for Saturday, 76, high of 77 for your St. Patrick's day Sunday morning lows right around 50 your next chance of rain a very small chance late Monday early Tuesday and guys look at Tuesday that's when we officially usher in spring 2013 with some spring showers potentially yeah just in the morning not too much but certainly gonna feel very much like spring for your holiday weekend guys I love that weekend forecast Ed. I know we've been that put, just it. puts me in such a good mood me I have too. been such a weather <laughs> grump lately yeah that, everyone lots to smile about for your St. Patrick's Day thanks weekend. a lot definitely Come